Mr. Miller, the defendant is your former girlfriend, and your complaint alleges that she had a hissy fit after a graduation party while you were in your car, and she's responsible for your car being totaled. That is correct. Ms. Ria says that it was actually you who caused the accident and not her fault. Do you want to tell me when this party was? Uh, this party was on May 20th, 2012. Where? On uh, Via Lucas. At someone's house? It was a, a house, <laughs> house party, yeah. What time did you arrive there? Arrived at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And did you arrive with Ms. Rias? Uh, yes, I did. And what time did you and Ms. Rias leave? We exited the party at about 8 p.m. because she was belligerently drunk. Had you been drinking? Uh, no. Not at all? No. I'm asking you a question, so I want you to give me an answer. Because you see there's a hesitation in your voice when you say, uh, no. That's different than saying, no, I was the designated driver, so I didn't drink. So I'm going to ask you the question again, so make it believable. Did you, in fact, have anything to drink at the party? I may have had a beer or two. I was there for about six hours, and I had about maybe one beer or two beers. Honest. I'm just asking you a question. So the first time when you said, did you have anything to drink, you said, no. I just don't believe that you went to a graduation party and you didn't have anything to drink. You intimidated me a little <laughs> bit, so that was why I said no. You don't have to bend down when you talk to me. The microphone picks up exactly what you have to say, sir, and there's another one on your tie. You mean I intimidate you so you lie? No, I just it, I didn't think it was relevant to the matter at hand. What school did you graduate from? I graduated from San Lorenzo High, and I'm about to graduate uh, with a degree in communications at Cal State East Bay. Great. When you go to law school, you can decide what's relevant. <laughs> okay. I hear you. Loud and clear. Great. I'm sorry, Ron. So, you had a few beers at the party, and you say Miss Rios was drunk. Belligerently, yes. <laughs> no, I don't know what that means. Well, the reason I exited the party, the last thing I saw her doing was um, downing a gallon of Jose Cuervo straight out the bottle. Okay. So you were taking her home? Yes. Uh, I was tired of babysitting and getting all those looks. So, got in the car and tell me what happened. So we're in the car and um, a little background information. This isn't the first time this has happened. Um, Kayla has a, a long history of um, violent blackout drunks. So. Uh, you know, being fed well, up. that's sad for her and doesn't necessarily demonstrate good judgment on your part. Yeah. Could we get to 5 20 2012 was, at 8 o'clock? I was probably thinking with them on those matters. Otherwise, I would have probably. 5 20 2012 yes. at 8 o'clock. So um, on May 20th, um, we were exiting the party. I was telling Kayla that, you know, I'm, I'm tired of babysitting you. It's, it's a sloppy look. You know, I like classy women wasn't showing too much class there. So I was like, if this is gonna continue to happen, I cannot be with you at this point. She uh, started to argue with me, saying something like, she was the hottest girl I could get, where I said, I bet you I can get a girl that's twice as hot with half the headache, making her 10 times better. And that was when she lost control, grabbed the steering wheel. So now, but you're in the car, having this argument. Yes, this was in the car. This was about one block from the party. 